Global Wrestling Podcast, what the world is watching. And hello, everyone. It's time for another edition of the Remarkable Wrestling Podcast. And if you're watching, you know, say hello. Eventually, I do want to film a really cool intro for the Remarkable Wrestling Podcast on 1980s style, where it's like, hey, we're going to be talking about all the collectibles and all the memories and all the stuff that makes us professional wrestling fans. This is such good shit. Look at that little clip squeak. Look at that from the WWE fan club. Ultimate Warrior wristbands. He was like, you like wrestling? I was like, hell yeah, I do. It was Lumberjack Jim, my made-up wrestler. Think Hacksaw Jim Duggan, just Lumberjack. Did you use a backbreaker in a fight at Grand Oaks? <laughs> he runs a promotion for his lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one cracks me up. All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Remarkable Wrestling Podcast, where we say it's okay to be a wrestling fan here at the Remarkable Wrestling Podcast. And of course, I'm Boom Boom Brandon Oliver, and we got a great show uh, for you today or tonight, depending on whenever you're watching this. Uh, as we have the RCW champion, Impact Wrestling Zone, Fala Ball. Bah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Fala Ball. Uh, honestly, honestly, you know, even though I know, you know, Boom Boom's trying to take away that, that RCW championship from you. Uh, honestly, one of my favorite people I've ever worked with. Uh, I really. I appreciate that. Hell yeah. Really. Uh, you know, I, I didn't expect it. You know, I mean, you know, you never know when you bring down uh, di different, uh, different talent, you know, how it's going to pan out and how it's going to mm -hmm. work out. And I'm sure it's, <laughs> I'm sure it's the other way <laughs> around for the, yeah, the talent. Well, when I go travel different shows, you never know, like, uh, like, like I'm usually for the most part, I'm usually happy, but you never know what, what you're going to expect when you're, when you go to a different place, you know? Yeah. But the, like from jump street, like my RCW ex experience has been awesome. De definitely and and so i got actually some pictures from uh uh rcw there of, of follow ball um and then of course one of the the biggest matches ever in rcw man that was a lot of beef between yeah. you and uh, congo kong <laughs> that it's was like awesome godzilla versus king kong <laughs> yeah yeah uh, tremendous match and then uh there's another picture of us in the background and i started off as your manager actually mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, ended up joining uh, Boom Boom Colt Cabana to form Do yeah. uh, Team Boom Boom. <laughs> but uh, but thank you so much, Fala, for joining us. I, I do have one picture I do want to show you real quick. And I had Barbie Hayden on uh, not that long ago. And I love Barbie Hayden. But this picture is probably one of the greatest in RCW oh, history. Yeah. <laughs> and so can you tell us about that, Fala? Like, how, I mean... Who introduced that? Who introduced that idea of, hey, let me uh, sit on you? I, I, surprisingly, it's me. And I, I'm gracious that, that she was like, all, all right with it. Uh, I had to uh, kind of explain everything and Rebel helped me. But uh, I remember when we were making that match, um, I, I wanted to make it more than just an intergender match. I wanted us to, to, to really like go back and forth and uh i don't know if you remember she gave me a saido <laughs> yes. in, that, in that match so yeah. like i i remember um i i think because of the 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 people there and some of the character characters like i i think everybody expected like a gaga like um like like comedy style match and i think they got something totally unexpected which uh like it's great because that by far is one of my favorite matches in that whole, uh, you know, the whole line of uh, wrestling there too, you know, in RCW. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and Barbie, I mean, she, <laughs> 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 I mean, you know, she's a champ, you know, yeah, for, yeah. For, for taking that. And then uh, let's see here. Another picture. This is like picture time real quick, but uh, one of my favorite pictures of you from impact uh, was Scarlett Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Scarlett had had made several RCW appearances as well. Um, you know, if you could 
I mean, Scarlett's now kicking ass up at NXT. Uh, I mean, what, how was your uh, experience working with Scarlett? It was always a pleasure. She, she, you know, like she's always super nice, a sweetheart, you know, I, I, I always had a good time. <laughs> Definitely. And then, I mean, you've been at impact mainstay now for, I mean, how many years have you been with? I want to say it started around 2017. Okay. So it's about to be four or five years. You know? Okay. And then we've seen the evolution of, of Fala Ba, you know, mm -hmm. from. Uh, I think he started when I wasn't talking. And now, now like, my character has evolved uh, to, to, to slowly starting learning English to just won't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. And then one of the, the bright spots definitely uh, between us, uh, you know, and I, I, I don't think you get enough credit for this. I mean, you were the man responsible for the uh the impact plus uh, rcw shows at free Tall brewery um you know josh matthews gave me a call and he was like hey man follow boss says to go with you guys and so i want to thank you uh hugely for that uh for that endorsement and uh we did two shows at the free Tall brewery and they were mm -hmm. awesome and you know you represented rcw uh at both times and yeah and, and what was that like for that collaborative effort I, I I remember the first time it was really hot, and like <laughs> like it 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 was extremely hot, even to the point where like they had like rooms that had air conditioning, and that was the first time like I definitely experienced Texas heat. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, like it it was crazy. I, I like I never felt like like still as as sweaty after showering <laughs> than i did before but the yeah like the second time it was a cooler time like like and temperature wise and uh yeah that, that was a match with with kong which was hilarious and i think like maddie was in there too right uh yeah yeah that was the second one the first one uh, i believe was you and uh, adorable anthony yes. andrews um but yeah it, yeah both of them were great shows uh, the second one was much cooler than the first. Yeah. You're absolutely it right. Fall, right? Fall, right? Yeah, that's that's the time to hold it at free time. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, again, man, I want to thank you so much for that because uh, that endorsement came came straight from you uh, mm -hmm. when I picked up the phone, and it was Josh Matthews. So uh, I really do appreciate that. Thank You're you. You're welcome, much. man. Anytime. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I don't know if you can tell, but uh, the audience can see it. Uh, the uh, uh, you know, all my collectibles and stuff in the background, including when Jeff Jarrett hit me with a guitar, he was nice enough to sign it for me and, and give it to me while I had a headache. And <laughs> uh, and so uh, these are things that I, I've kept throughout uh, you know my my stay in wrestling. And uh, I I know you don't have them physically on you, but tell us about two or three things that that you were like, wow, man, this is really cool, and uh, I, you know I'm going to keep this. Okay, so the I have three things. The first one isn't necessarily when I was uh, it wasn't when I was in wrestling, but like it was uh, it was like another defining moment. Um, when I was like thirteen, I got I got a sock signed by Mick Foley. Oh wow! I wasn't planning on on going to the meet and greet at the time, and I didn't know anything about meet and greets. But I I just so happened to be in the mall that Saturday. And and saw a line forming and asked and then I stayed and and I kind of got a a cool memorabilia out of nowhere you know what I mean yeah yeah that's cool that you still have it too you of still course. have it I I have it I just don't know exactly where in the house <laughs> <laughs> if that makes any sense uh, yeah that makes sense um and then when I got in my first year it's not even like a really like I, I remember keeping it thinking how how dope it was. But um, when I when I came uh, to start training, like I think it was like 06, 07, um, Dr. Tom came to my school. Uh, I, I was trained by Kevin Knight at IWF, and he came in for a, um, a seminar. And he just so happened to, to bring a bunch of shirts because he was working at WWF at the time. Um, Mr. America shirts that didn't like kind of pan out. <laughs> oh wow yeah so like i he had a bunch so i just remember taking it and i'm like oh this is kind of fucking cool i'm not <laughs> i'm not gonna wear it to work out i'm gonna i'm just gonna keep it somewhere so like somewhere in my house i have a 
Mr. America WWE shirt. Nice, very and, nice. Yeah, it didn't kind of pan out, so like it's kind of like I don't know, I don't know if it's rare, rare but it's it's there, you know. I, I think it would be rare. I mean, he, <laughs> you know, Hogan only did that for a little. Well, at least what we think it was Hulk Hogan, right? Yeah. Uh, only did that for a little bit, but uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty rare. And um, so when you're when you're at like the TV tapings, um, there's a runchy and then there's a board. Um, you, you, you see what's, what's on, they have the producer sheet and everything. Um, I happen to have the, the paper, um, that, um, hello. Oh, okay. Uh, so that I, I happen to have the paper that, um, had the card when I wrestled Austin Aries for the impact world title. Oh, nice. So like that's that's like my my first like that was my first like real main event in an episode and that's my title match. <laughs> All right, so Fala, uh, what we like to do here, remarkable, we like to have a little bit of fun, and so uh, one of the games we like to play is the Whisper Challenge. Okay. And uh, this is probably something you haven't done for a podcast before, I'm assuming. No, not at all. All right. So basically, uh, we're going to write, let's just do wrestler names. It's it's usually a little bit more uh, narrowed down. Okay. Uh, and so uh, each of us will write down a wrestler name. Uh, then okay. when it's our turn, uh, you know, we'll show the audience, you will turn around or who I'll turn around. We'll show the audience and then turn your mic off and then say the wrestler's name. And I have to, you know, me or you have to try to guess it. Okay. So the whisper challenge, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, uh, write down a wrestler's name real quick. Okay. I'm going to not look. All right. All right. All right. And it could be from any era. Uh, I mean, I try to, try to choose, you know, bigger names. I, I don't want to put you, that, you know, that, that bad of a spot. All right. So I just showed the, uh, the, the audience. Okay. All right, so turn back, uh, turn back around, I'll follow, and then so I'm gonna mute my mic and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, be the only person on the screen for a second, okay? All right. Bret Hart. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. See, you, you got it. You got <laughs> it. You got it. All right. So now you write down a wrestler's name. Okay. All right. I'm gonna write it down now. Let's hope this works. I'm, I'm writing out now. All Come right. On. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's see if this. And then. I think it works. I'm not exactly sure. Right. Tell me when to Hold look. On. Hold on. Okay. You can look. All right. All right. So, uh, mute your mic, follow. Okay. All right, I think I got it. I think I got it. Let me turn your uh, turn your mic back on. Is it Sting? No. Oh, it just looked like one word. Yeah, it is. So it's not Sting. Uh, 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 another one word wrestler. Hey, when you're on the spot, it's much harder. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who who was it. Taz. Taz. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So very good. All right, Paula. Let me write down another name real quick here. Let me show the people. And I think you got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead and turn back around. Okay. And then uh, I'm going to mute my mic. And here we go. Hmm. Whisper something? No, not whisper. You want you uh, want me to do it again one more time? Yeah, one more time. All right. Ooh. I don't know. I really can't. <laughs> there's nothing I can make up. Christopher Daniels. Oh shoot. <laughs> wow. That makes sense. <laughs> it's one of those things that you can't picture it until you hear it's, it and it makes sense. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's Damn, part of the fun. Hard. That's part of the fun. All right, let's uh, do another one. 
Okay. Hey, you got another another name? Yeah, there? I got a, I got a I got a nickname and and the full name. All right, all right. So go ahead and right. show show the I'm, people. I'm gonna write out right now. Tell me when to to look. Okay, I'm gonna show this right now. Hold on. One all second. right. All right. Okay. Uh, all right. Yeah, you can look now. All right. All right. So mute your mic. Okay. And uh, let's give it a whirl here. Uh, superstar Billy Graham. Yep. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> all I was right, like, let, me, let me help him out and then enunciate the words. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I appreciate that. All right, you want to do one more? Sure. Okay. Uh, so I got a name. Uh, go ahead and, and turn around, uh, follow, or turn your head. And uh, hold on. Let me let me do this. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna write a new one. All right. Uh, showing the people now. All right, go ahead and, and uh, turn back around. All right, just one name, uh, one one word. So, all right, here we go. We're on the whole train. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's right. Very good. Man, I cannot stump you at all. That's great. No, you got me the second one. I didn't know what Christopher Daniel was. Daniel yeah. Was. Yeah. That, 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 was a, that was a little bit harder one. But uh, all right, Fala, thank you so much for, for joining us. And thank we're you gonna, for having me, man. And we're going to see you very soon, June 27th. Can't right wait, here in San Antonio. man. Can't wait. <laughs> and uh, it's going to be you and Gino Medina uh, from be MLW. Fun. I've been waiting for this. Yeah. This kind of, I, I've been wait, waiting to work him. So this is going to be fun. All right. All right. Follow. Thank you so much. And then where Thank can, where can, where can people uh, uh, find out about or track you or watch you or. So on tw- you can check me on uh, at impact wrestling on access TV uh, Thursday nights um, uh, on Twitter at follow one um, Instagram at follow gram one and Facebook follow. Bob. All right. All right. Thank you. Follow. We appreciate Thank you, it. man. All right.